Hey, Katrin. Hi. How was your test? I mean, I'm, I'm okay, happy. I had some really, really fabulous moments, and uh, I felt that he really, he, he really reacted really well in there. So until that cancer period left, I had a fantastic test and uh, a super feeling in the ride. And actually, my warm-up today was maybe the best ever. He felt like really game on, not too hot, not too lazy. So uh, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm happy, but of course annoyed with the mistake. Unfortunately, you don't get points for the warm-up. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's like um, with him, sometimes we can struggle a little bit out there. And it's just nice when you find that balance with a horse that you know, okay, exactly how long to warm up, how exactly, like how many breaks, how much push, how much give, and you know. So it's just a super feeling to, to, to get that feeling out there. And then, like the most of the time, also bring it with me into the ring. Did I saw some tents? Yeah, I mean, um, oh, in, oh, some tents. I don't know yet, but I, I have to say that the, the second pair felt like a tent. Yeah, so yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and the period. Tell me about it. Yeah, but I think, um, I mean, I feel that he tries to come around a tiny bit too quickly in the end. So I want to like break him a little bit and slow him down. And I think I'm, I'm, I might come a little bit too near with my leg, and then he reacts a bit too. Woo! crazy. Uh, I mean, he is a hot and he is a sensitive horse, which I really love, but that caused me a mistake today, but I'll try to do better tomorrow. How were the last weeks for uh, you? Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, of course, uh, Tokyo was um, one thing, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I was planning on giving Bohemian a few like easy weeks, but after four days, I was like, oh, okay, does someone have like a safety vest for me because he was really, really fresh? I mean, he came back home really, really super and I had my vet coming in and, you know, checking that he was fresh and sound and he, he just looked really fantastic. So I had to pick up training quite quickly, actually, and also quicker than I would have expected after Tokyo. There are more riders telling uh, us this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know why that is? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the things could be that when we flew down to Tokyo, Tokyo we had like um, a stopover in Doha. It, yeah, Doha, yeah. Uh -huh. um, so it took like really many hours to get there, whereas when we flew back, it was directly. So I think it, it has to like do something with that. And then also they, they had like, I don't remember, three, four easy days out there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, flying quickly back and I mean, coming home in super shape. I mean, it's, it's like the fittest horses in the world. And then you tell them, well, you don't have to do anything. They're like, <laughs> they're getting crazy and crazy. So, but it, it's really a good thing. Uh, last thing, uh, Denmark is doing great, right? Yeah, so far it looks really good. I'm looking at the result list. Um, yeah, I mean, my teammates, wow. I have to really yeah, say I'm super proud of them. I can't remember if I've ever been on a team with three riders above 75. That's really, really amazing. So I'm super proud of also Charlotte, of course. Charlotte and Anna and Dane, they did fantastic. So it's, uh, it's great.